Week 6, Problem 4. Answer the questions using the circuit as shown. Using the circuit shown. Capacitor C1 is in blank with capacitor 2. Alright. Let's get a closer look at this guy. So C1 is down here. C2 is up here. Alright. So, first, I don't have a very intuitive understanding of capacitors. So whenever possible, I just pretend that capacitors are resistors. So, this we're looking for a parallel uh, or series. So the idea with series is the same current flows through every component. So the easy example here would be C5 and C3. They have the same, if something uh, passes through one, it's going to have to pass through the other one. If you do like a hydraulic analogy where pipes and water, then any water that passes through C5 is going to have to pass through C3. It doesn't have anywhere else to go. Therefore, those would be in series parallel um, oh, sorry back to series series is defined as the the same they have the same current flowing through them in parallel um, parallel is defined as the same voltage across them so C1 and C6 would be a good example so this voltage right here is the same for C1 across uh, across C6 right here from this point to this point will be the same as from this point to this point so they'll have the same uh, voltage across them therefore those will be in parallel. Alright, so now if we look at C1 and C2, those have nothing in common. So the idea here is, let's see, do I got blue? Eh, ooh, is that a teal? Alright, so, pastor, so it's not going to be in parallel, because if it was in parallel, then this wire right here would have to be somehow connected to this wire right here, and it's not without going through a capacitor. So they're not in parallel. And then if it's not in series, if it has an alternate path where it can go. And it does, it can go through C6. Therefore, not in series. So neither. I'm just gonna call it none, since none is shorter and I can save me time. More efficient. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Why are you being so angry? Alright. C four and C six. Alright, so they're not in parallel because this portion right here cannot be connected with this portion without going through a capacitor. And then it will not be in series because there's also an alternate path that it can go through. So they are not in series. So the same current that passes through 4 will not necessarily pass through 6. Some of it will, but not all of it. And all of it is required. So this is also going to be none or neither. C1 and C6. Alright. These are in parallel because this portion, the, the front part of C6 is connected with the front part of C1 and the end portion of C6 is also connected with the, C, the end portion of um, C1. Therefore they would have the same voltage across them therefore they will um, be considered in parallel. Para. Yep. Another way to think of it is, would you destroy the circuit if you took a wire and directly connected both portions right there, like that? And you would not, just, you just have the same circuit. So you'd be good. Capacitor 3 and capacitor 5. These are in series. Because, once you come down here, there's no way for, no place left for current to go other than through um, C3. And the idea is it can't go backwards because it has to go from high potential, low potential, and it, it, the idea is you're not changing that halfway through your problem statement. So this guy would be series. All right, C4 and 5. So 4 and 5. Neither. So the idea here is, um, so both of them have the same beginning point, but they have different endpoints. So if you did say, though, instead of C5, you said the equivalent capacitor of C5 and C3 basically together, then the equivalent capacitor of C5 and C3 as a system would be in parallel with C4. But C5 itself is not in parallel with C4, nor is it in series. So this portion is also going to be, oh, it's also going to be neither. All right. Capacitor C4 has the same voltage difference as. 
All right, so this is asking what is in parallel with C4. So we're going to do 1, 2, 3, 5, and 6. All right. So you don't ask if C4 is in parallel with itself, which seems reasonable. Because I'm not sure if it would be. Is it? I don't know. I'd have, to the, I'd have to look at the definition. All right, so C1, no, because they do not have the same start points. C2, yes. Yes, they do. So this wire is connected right to there. So C2 and C4 are in parallel. Uh, C3 and C5, they're both they're kind of the same. And for the same reason we discussed earlier, C4 is not in parallel C3 or C5, but C4 is in parallel C3 and C5. So neither of those will be checked. And C6, nope, not even going to dignify that with an answer. So I'm going to say C2 right here. Click. Same voltage difference. All right? Same charge. Now, the way I um, think of resistors compared to capacitors is basically um, when you're talking about capacitors, you replace the word current with charge. And you, even though charge isn't moving in this system, because you basically charge the capacitors, now it's a steady state charging, there's no moving of electrons, you pretend that they are moving, and then they're basically the same as resistors, where you have uh, flow going through the uh, capacitors. So capacitor 5 has the same charge as. All right. So now we're looking for what is capacitor 5 in series with. So capacitor 5 is only going to be in series with uh, capacitor 3. None of the others, it, can, it all has different paths, and not all of the current that passes through C5 has to pass through any of the other capacitors other than C3. I say current pass through, but what I really mean is um, if they were resistors and you had current. There is no actual current passing through. But um, I think it's easier for me to pretend that Instead of charge, I have current, and instead of capacitors, I have resistors. Um, it's not the best way to do it, but when you're talking about taking a test and getting the right answers, then yes, yes, it is the best way. So C3 and C5. No, darn you, eraser. Darn you. There we go. True or false? The voltage difference across C4 plus the voltage difference across C6 is equal to the voltage difference equal the voltage difference across the battery. Okay. So this is basically saying Kirchhoff's uh, voltage law. So there we go. So if you do Kirchhoff's voltage law, which uh, states that the potential around any closed loop has to equal zero. The idea there is um, Electrons are going to fl flow from high potential to low potential. So if you look at the battery here, it's going to have, as you go through, it's going to create higher potential because that's what batteries do. They create a um, potential difference. And then you're going to have a little bit of drop of potential here, a little bit of drop of potential here. When you get back to here, it's going to be back at the same place. Um, if you didn't, if Kirchhoff's voltage law wasn't true and it didn't equal zero, then you'd basically have one point with two different potentials which would mean the electron to basically be flowing into themselves, which is possible. It's like dividing by zero. It's completely nonsensical and the universe explodes. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to call this, um, I'm going to do voltage cur cur yeah, Kirchhoff's voltage law. I'm going to say V bat for the battery plus voltage C4 plus voltage C6 equals zero. So, um, V bat will equal negative voltage C4 minus voltage C6. So, now to make this negative plus. I'm going to say that, so I'm going to say that, yes, it's true. The voltage difference across C4 plus the voltage difference across C6 is equal to the voltage difference across the battery, but really it's the negative of it. So if they're talking about the magnitude, maybe they're not, maybe it's a trick question, maybe they're not, not, not trying to. So I would say true. They might, maybe they're trying to get at something, you know, make sure you know the, uh, know that it's supposed to be negative. I don't know. That's ambiguous question, and I would I would say true, but if it's 
if they some if for some reason they want you to say false, then that's the reason why. Is because it's actually negative, but the magnitudes will be the same. All right, and that's how you should look at this problem. Sound good? All right, I will see you on problem five.